Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be looking at some healing crystals helpful for the teeth and the gums. It is of course important to keep your teeth and gums healthy and well maintained. Poor oral health can affect the entire rest of your body so you'll want to practice proper oral hygiene to prevent dis-ease and ill health. Uh, but like other areas of your body, your mouth a teams with uh, uh, bacteria, most of which is harmless, but because your mouth is the entry point to your digestive and respiratory tracts, some of these bacteria can cause this ease. Good oral health care such as daily brushing and flossing will help you to keep bacteria under control, of course. Tooth and gum problems can also benefit from crystal healing. Uh, there are a few crystals that can assist in the treating of teeth and gum issues. You'll, of course, want to make sure to regularly schedule dental checkups. Crystals should not necessarily replace your uh, dentist. However, some of these crystals can be helpful in uh, helping with teeth and gum issues. Amazonite is a crystal that can be used as a preventative measure for dental health problems. It is often used with other crystals to amplify the healing powers of its own energy field. It is recommended that you rinse your mouth daily with Amazonite infused water or mouthwash, of course, to help prevent tooth infections. Aquamarine, aquamarine rather, is a soothing stone that can be used to get relief from toothaches. It can also be infused with water and used as a mouthwash. Rinsing with this crystal infused water will help you to flush out toxins in your mouth and it will help to prevent tooth problems. Appetite aids in the absorption of calcium and helps bones, cartilage, and teeth to grow strong and healthy. Idocrass is a crystal that is said to strengthen the enamel on teeth, and magnesite contains a high level of magnesium and aids its absorption in the body. It also can help to treat bone and teeth disorders. Note that all of these crystals are not necessarily good to use in elixirs. Please do the individual research on any crystal or stone that you would like to make an elixir out of to make sure that they are safe to do so. Some crystals can be toxic and harmful, so please do your homework before creating any sort of elixirs and infusions. Um, onyx is a beneficial stone as well for the crystals, uh, sorry, for the teeth and the bones, and tourmaline is thought to be beneficial for sore throats, jaw, and teeth. Uh, shell jasper is a stone containing calcite and fossils, and is gentle. Uh, it is a gentle stone that energetically assists the structure of bones and teeth. You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also, be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop link in the description below grab yourself a free copy of the crystal compendium which has over 250 crystal definitions link in the description below join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals we pay a 22 percent commission for referred sales enroll in our crystal healing course link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the crystal meanings app in both the app store and google play store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertips. It's absolutely free, pun intended, and of course be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day, and who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.